this room. It's big. Ooh. Another nice one right here. Oh, it's big. Oh, barely hooked. No, please, please, please don't do that. What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are on our way to a little lake to do some bass fishing. We have with us Maddie's inflatable kayak and my inflatable paddleboard. We were out here a few weeks ago so that I can test out the paddleboard to see if it was gonna be something you know I liked. The whole trip was just about me getting a feel for the paddleboard. This is how that trip went. Guys, I'm new at this little paddleboard thing. It is definitely a balancing act. I will definitely be getting a seat for this, but until then, I'm on my butt. We had to pick a windy day to come out. Oh no, oh no, we don't want that. I'm going into the bushes. <laughs> I don't want to go into the bushes. I was just trying to unhook my bait and before I knew it, I was in the bushes. All right, let's see if I can unhook this now. Very good, that wind just puts me right where it wants me. No, no, I don't want to go into that. No, no. Hard break. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm gonna go park on this little log right here. Hopefully no snakes are on it. Eh. Oh, that's one way to do it, I guess. Here we are. <laughs> All right, here we go. Up and right into the tree because I'm so smooth. Please, God, please, I'm begging you. Ah, did it. Okay, thank God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Might be a fish right here for real. It's a good little um, rock wall over here, guys, and it's like a sandy, shallow flat, and it transitions into this grassy area, and I just feel like it's a really good spot for fish to be. Let's try that again. Just gotta learn everything. This is just uh, not the same as being on the bank for sure. Oh, that was a bite. Y'all ready? There be a fish back there. Got him. Such a little guy, but man, they fight so hard here. First catch on a pedal board. Thanks for the bite, little one. There he goes. That was sweet. See if we can get another, guys. Maybe a little bigger than that. And I got a wind knot. That's lovely. I've got a lot um, to get used to. That's for sure. But all in all, we caught our first fish on a pedal board. Now I can join the Catch and Fish on a Pedal Board Club. I heard it's a cool club. Just trying to get this wind knot out. It is like a lot deeper than I thought it was. All right, I don't want to go any further than that because I'm scared I'm going to end up tangling all this line up it's so much out i'm just gonna cast give it a far cast and see if i can get it out that way all right let's give it a very good cast there you go that fixed it we're gonna um go up in this cove hopefully me and maddie can both find a good little place to park but yeah that's the game plan today just fix fishing up against um stuff like this and we're not really after it. we always want to try it but we're not really after that we're just uh one to get used to this and just um, practice catching fish. I'm using just the spinning combo. It's our old Abu Garcia, one of the first poles that wasn't from Walmart that I think Maddie got. And the reason is just in case I flip this thing and lose anything, I didn't want it to be um, a more expensive combo or one that we really like. Not that I don't like this, but you know what I mean? I wouldn't like be devastated if I lost it versus like the Shimano. All right, I'm gonna go catch up with Maddie. Let's see if, we're, if we can go faster than her. Catch her. We're coming for you. <laughs> you ain't never seen these arms go this fast. Let's pass her. Yeah. Put it in second gear. We're gonna blow our transmission up. You look like you got a motor. All right, I'm gonna go find the perfect log to park on. And of course we're gonna hit that point, but we're gonna fish up in here and work our way out, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if there is a plan, but if there is, I think that one sounds like it should be it. So let's go up in this cove. Ain't it beautiful out here though? Might be able to park up against that log over there. It's a little turtle. Don't you jump on my thing now or we're both gonna end up in the water. He's looking at me like, what brings you to my doorstep? Let's leave Mr. Turdy alone 
and let's row on. Bye, Mr. Turdy. I'm gonna pedal along and give my camera a little break. When I get to where I'm gonna fish again, I will cut you guys back on. Let's hit her in the butt. I'm trying to run you off this road. <laughs> it take us nowhere. Yeah, I definitely like my little pedal board. I definitely, next time we come out, want to pick a day when it's not windy. Watch, and when we turn around to go back this way, the wind will change directions. Yeah. It's always like, which way are they facing? I want to blow directly at them. I'm going right up here. It's kind of the end of the lake up here where the creek runs in. Just going to see if anything's here. There was something right there I spooked. Took off. It was a whole school of carp, and one was like half the size of this board, I swear. They're huge. I don't know if I'm ready to catch a carp on this thing. Not one that size, anyways. No. Maddie wants me to carp fish with my toe. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any bass at all. I'm sure there's some back here, but definitely don't see them. I'm going to go hug that edge over there and try that. It's so shallow here, guys. Look. I'm like in a foot, not even, of water. So I'm just going to not let my fin bottom out. And uh, I think I don't want to hit that stump, a little stump right there. I'm just going to back it on up. And get out of here. And of course, I'm hitting the stomp. All right, let's get the whole boat out of here. I'm over here getting stuck on everything. I can feel my fin dragging the bottom too. We gotta go. Get out of the shallow water. I'm gonna go over here and catch up with Maddie and fish along this um, loop right here and then back to the bank. So in a way, we've made our way around this whole lake. Did you hear that? Yeah, he got a fish. Yeah, he did, look. We heard something, it almost sounded like a fish jumping and it was him diving down into the water. Think about how good their eyes are to be able to do that. This is full of turtles. Look, there's a little turtle right here we're about to pass. He's looking at me like, what the are you? <laughs> Got one. He just came up as I was retrieving it. It's a little guy. Fat little belly on this fish. This is definitely a little pregnant female. All right, girl, let's get this hook out of you. A little fish, but a fat fish. Look at that. That's a butterball, isn't it? Thank you, sweetheart. Mwah. Fat chump. Let's see if she'll do a cool trick for us. No. Oh! Just splashed me. Oh, a bee. I feel like it's a giant in here somewhere. This cove. Found a way to set up shop. Is that it? Yeah. It's big. Decent. Ooh. Wait, can you net her? Get her. All right. I don't know how I'm gonna do this stuff. Pull me, I guess. <laughs> you know, Maddie netted my fish, but I can't get to it now. That's a nice one. All right. I guess uh, I'm just gonna give you slack. Can you handle it? That's a good fish, right? Just keep him in the net, I guess. He's not in the water at all. <laughs> you think you're helping him right now, but you're not. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm so stuck. Y'all, this is a process. We're learning. We are learning. All right, Maddie's got him in the net. He's in the water. So I'm just gonna, I'm trying to get to you. <laughs> stole my fish. Come back. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, Maddie. It was a good fish. Whew, what a process. Thank you, Maddie, for coming in clutch with the net. I think I could have got her up here. She just, um, you know, if you can get her in a net, why not? Coming back out day two, the exact same lake. I got a little bit more experience with the pedal board and a lot more confidence. 
So we're gonna see if we can actually get on some fish today. We're gonna catch you guys at the lake and um, pump these babies up and get on the water and see if we can get some fish. And just like that, away we go. Let's see if we can get something happening today. Just really grown up since the last time we were here. Because it's been about a month. We'll go up here to this little cove where it pushes in. Try that out. It's a bunch of fish right here up against this bank. I don't know if they're bass though. It's a bunch of crappie. Let's see if we can get a fish. I got something. Yep, got one. Yay! Yes. First fish of the day. She's a tiny baby. We're just gonna get her right back in. I'm still trying to get used to filling bites and stuff on these things. I thought I felt something, so I went ahead and kind of pulled up to see if it was the bottom or a fish. It wasn't until I felt some head shakes I realized, okay, it's fish. I'm gonna head this way and follow Maddie's lead. Yep, that's a fish. Maddie. Oh, he come off. Remember, you gotta really set the hook on the kayak. Bit the fire out of it. I felt them head shakes. Ooh. You ready? That didn't hook him though. You know how I always pick at you for how hard you set it? I want you to do that on a kayak. Try again. Oh, here we go. Got him that time. Oh, he come up again. Uh, he bit the fire of it again and I had him. It's like he's not getting a hook. He's gotta be little. He's tormenting you. I think I'm gonna make my way on up. We're not gonna waste any more time. I'm pretty sure that's just a dink. <laughs> no, it's probably a carp. No, the carp are really pushing shallow right now. Can you imagine catching one of them in this boat? <laughs> It'd be fun Get to go for a little ride. Maddie got one, but her camera overheated, unfortunately. Pretty hot day and it's super cloudy. It's not huge. Yeah. All right, nice little fish. Sorry, I wasn't filming when I caught it. There you go, buddy. It wasn't a bad one she got either. What would you say is like a two pounder? For this body of water, two pounder is pretty good. Post spawn, maybe. Thing was running toward me. It's little, but really start running toward me. <laughs> oh my goodness. He ate it weird. It's across his whole bottom lip. Just a little guy, but still, beautiful little fish. All right, thanks, buddy. There he goes. Yeah, I couldn't keep up with him. He was running toward me and them little guys will get off so quick if you don't keep up. Guys, Maddie is probably not gonna be able to film right now just because her camera is overheating. Something is going on with that. But if she gets something, I will keep you updated. She got one. Big? Oh my goodness, she got a big one, guys. We're gonna have to row over here and help her. Let me row in. Coming. She got a big one. Look at all the wakes underneath in me. I think she's a good little spot. Holy, hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming. Look at all this, y'all. Stuff like underneath me taking off. It's wild. 
That's a nice fish. I bet she did. That's a good one. I'm gonna say, I don't guess two and a half, three. It's about two and a half. Nice one, Maddie. Now look at that beauty. That's the one we come for right there. She's ready. She's ready. <laughs> nice. Good job. The ribbon tail worm, the blue ribbon tail worm. Mm -hmm. I know, poor Maddie. Her camera has overheated, guys. I don't know why. It's not even, like, She's going to try to revive it. Maybe take the back off of it. At least you got quality fish. Two pounder is really considered a good catch for this lake. There are bigger in here, but it's mostly small ones. We're going to go with these little crawls. There we go. Going with a bigger bait, guys, to see if I can get a bigger fish. And we eat out some of these little guys. Look, something's following it. Mm. I like that one. Another nice one right here. Another decent one. That was cool on that last catch. Look, here's another bass. I could see it coming up to my bait. When my bait hit the water, you saw like, look, it's happening again. It's so wild. You could see the wakes coming up to it. Like coming to check it out. Look, you see all them wakes? A lot of fish right here. Ah, oh, I lost it. I messed my pinchers up. Okay, we can do that. Guys, we're gonna go fish this bank and see. We're gonna go fish this bank and see. God, it came off. Never mind. That was surprising. I'll come in behind you. You need to. Don't know why I'm not getting hooks into these fish. You have to like do this, like, like lift the pole up. That's my fourth missed fish. So crazy. But anyways, I was trying to tell y'all we're about to go fish that bank. I'm gonna see if this guy wants to come back first. Just so frustrating when you get them like that and you just can't get a hook in them, you know? All right. Good job. Get this open water near the bank. It's little. It's actually not that bad, Maddie. Okay. Hi, hey, buddy. A little crawl, dude. Not a bad little fish. Just gonna get him right back in. Top water eat. Came up and hit it like a top water. This crankbait. Uh uh, Maddie. 
him and got it quick. Maddie. I got him. Yeah. Oh, he's big. Oh, barely hooked. No, please, please, please don't do that. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Yes. It's like a three pounder. Barely hooked. Big girl. Yeah, she's pregnant, y'all. Look at that belly on this fish. What you got there? Ooh, now that one's pregnant. I want to get a weight on her. 3.02, I knew she'd go three. We're gonna get this beautiful baby right back in. I'm just gonna let Maddie go ahead and let her go. Yeah. Look at that belly on that fish. That fish took off nice and healthy. For some reason, my camera just froze in the middle of releasing the fish, but she took off pretty quick and gave Maddie a good splash. <laughs> so, but anyways. Thanks for letting her go for me. Yeah, guys, with these uh, boats, it's kind of hard. We're still learning how to get pictures and weights and all that. And Maddie had already weighed her, and we started drifting apart. So I told her, you know, you just go ahead and do the honors of letting her go. We wanted that fish back in ASAP. Yeah, cast at the crankbait, and I was like, what in the world? As soon as it hit the water, I maybe gave it one crank, and she was on. All right, you guys, that is officially gonna call it. We're gonna head back to the boat ramp and get these deflated, packed up, hit the road. Back at the boat ramp now. So let me scourge on up here. All right. That is gonna wrap it up. I would say I gained a little bit more confidence on the pedal board. We had a lot of fun. Caught a ton of fish. We're gonna be taking the inflatable pedal board and the kayak out on a lot of adventures. We've actually got a few little plans in mind, so.